I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. I found you by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. Is that a scar? Is that recent? We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them! Goddamn fools! How you doing today, Jody? Good? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, 
I believe it's time, honey. Come on, girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. Hurry, Jody. Right, Nathan's waiting for us. Ah, oh, come on. I don't have any more chance. Hi, Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. This is nearly ready. It was due two weeks ago. Hello, precious. Don't you look pretty today? Better late than never, I guess. Here we are. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're going to get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go for it. First card. Next card. Next card. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. 
There are some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Good, Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? I'm sorry, but I'm done. Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked. I'm no, telling Kathleen, you, it's, it's locked. not locked. It's probably get just stuck. Give here. us a moment. Get me out of here now. Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need. Leave it. I didn't. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It will never be over. I feel like everyone's looking at us. That's not just a feeling. Everyone is looking at us. This dress sucks. I knew I should have worn something else. The dress is perfect. You look great. But the most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, Sheikha, man. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later, Ahmed. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. I think he found you charming. I should be flattered. Yeah, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Ah, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. Sorry, ma'am. This area is off limit. Embassy personnel only. Hayden, 
Hayden, are you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? Hurry, Aiden. It hurts like hell when you're too far away. An office with a portrait of the Sheik. This is the place. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Find it, Aiden. Hussam. اذهب والقي نظرة على مكتب السفير حاضر سأذهب حالا Shit The camera was on oh, The card's coming Don't move anything or he'll sound the alarm أنا في المكتب كل شيء في مكانه I think there must be another way. This is the place. Hide it. You know what to do. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. Can open the safe. Good job. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. Sorry, I can't do anything to help you.
Jody, all right? Don't touch me! I want to go now. Right. Yeah, we're leaving. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not gonna back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress, stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you coming? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and the least dorky guys we could find. Was oh, it a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. No! Uh, party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Garbage is that. Slide over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. Jody, you want one? Yeah, cool, sure. <laughs> hey, don't choke on it. I bet it's your first time. No, I've had some before. <laughs> of course you have. Oh, 
<laughs> First time, huh? <coughs> Got me that way, too. <laughs> With you. <laughs> I think I've had enough. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. So you work with Kirsten's mother? work in the in the same lab she thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age so uh, here I am <laughs> I used to live in, uh, in London before I moved here two years ago and you where did you live before on, on the base I, I, I've always lived there I was born there do you have any hobbies anything you do for like fun I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. And you, what are you into? It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read, and I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I? Can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, damn, I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't, like, upset you or anything. No, that's oh. okay. <sighs> oh, slowdowns. Are you, you up for it? I don't... I don't really know how. That's all right. I don't really know how to either, so... You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know. Do you say that to all the girls you meet? <laughs> you're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. I guess you could say that. Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, Great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it. It's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. 
You up for demonstration? No, no, no. I, I, I don't have, I don't have powers. <laughs> I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong, just exactly what I needed. Now you can stop stealing your mom's <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah. Just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening. Begging for it. Oh. And she's a slut, too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Please! Stop! Stop! Oh, mistress of the obscure go! darkness! Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> <laughs> Out. From the first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please let me out! Please! Did someone say cake? Please! Yeah, I honestly, get out. is making please, me hungry. I get out. I beg yeah, let's get this please party started! <laughs> Funny, Steven. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. <laughs> Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> the door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. Try the windows. They're locked! Guys, <gasps> this is a joke. It's really not funny.
Let's go home. I don't drink, so... You don't know what you're missing, girl. After three or four beers, you'll see the world in a whole new light. You okay, Jody? You're acting kind of weird. Hey, pale face. You sure you feel all right? You're not looking too hot, Jody. <laughs> Ooh, you look kind of scary like that. <laughs> you okay, Jody? thinking. You're wondering why we're here. I'm thinking the same thing. I know, you told me. just wanted to see what it would be like to go out and, and have friends. This is not what I expected. New York? Man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for like... I sort of... I have a gift. A link with an entity. An entity? You mean... You mean a ghost or something like that? Oh, this is gonna sound really crazy, but it's kind of like a like an invisible presence that follows me. Is it uh, is it here now? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, oh shit! You, you really got me going there. I, mean, I was thinking you were completely nuts or something. Thanks for the dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. All right, then. So, what are you going to do, Jody? Just be quiet and don't move. <laughs> oh, I'm scared already. I just want my pants. <laughs> Shut up, Steven. That's pretty scary.
Is this gonna take long? We're not gonna wait all day, are we? Shit, man, what the hell was that? The table! Look at the table! Okay, I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Uh, that, that was really scary. I didn't mean to, to frighten anyone. Sorry, I... You know, you guys insisted and... Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and, most important, to open my birthday <sighs> gifts. This is a joke. It's really not... Michael, what was that? Where's Kirsten? Where's Kirsten? Kirsten? My God, Kirsten! Kirsten! My God, what happened? Let's go home. 